Hello Stampers. Today I've got a quick project for you which I hope you will um, love to make up and I hope you'll make lots of them and give them away to the people that you um, love and appreciate most. We're going to make a little gift bag and I'm going to use Dragonfly Garden which is a set that in my collection that I don't really use as much as I probably should. Now I know I have ladies at Social Stamping that love the dragonflies. They regularly ask me to bring dragonflies so they can make something with it. I'm, I'm more of a butterfly person. But we're going to use this set today. We're also going to use some of the retired uh, designer series paper or DSP. Now, when it was available, it was available with Dragonfly Garden. Um, and it actually has the matching dragonflies. It has retired now. So if you really love the paper, um, you would your best bet would be a D-stash site. Um, but you can do this project with any paper. I'm just using up leftovers. So... What we're going to do today is we're going to make up our gift bag first. Um, so I've got a six, a six by six, sorry, six by six sheet here, uh, which is going to be the perfect size. You can make this with big sheets or whatever you like. I've put tape along one edge, which I'm just going to get rid of. And I'm going to curl this around, keeping it straight and so that the... Um, the edges are even and press it closed. Okay, so I have got a tube like a toilet roll. I know, I'm proud of my analogy too. <laughs> All right, I've also put a little piece of tape here and I sort of guessed that it was the middle third um, of, well, maybe not even a third, it should be about half. But anyway, I guess I figured if I got it all wrong, I would um, add some glue, but I think I've actually got it about right. And that just comes with practice. So if yours is not quite right, um, add some glue. That's fine. All right. So there we go. That's closed off at that end. Now, when we close this other end, now I've seen it done both ways. I've seen it closed like this, but that kind of squishes whatever's inside. I Years ago, I went to um, a team event and we made them like this. Can you see? It's a bit like, um, wasn't there like um, a powdered drink or an ice block or something that came in? I don't know what they're called. Let me know if you remember what they were called. Um, so we're actually going to do it this way. Now you could tape it shut if you want to do, but obviously I haven't put any treats inside here yet. So I want to leave it open. So I am simply going to punch a hole in the top, in the center. Okay. And I'm going to tie it shut. Now, I'm just looking at what I have here, and I have got, also retired, but I've got some beautiful, I think it's Mossy Meadow. Um, can I see? Is it going to tell me? Mossy Meadow. It is Mossy Meadow. All right. So, I'm just going to cut myself off a piece of that. So, it's this Mossy me Meadow sort of string twine stuff. Okay, and I'm just going to tie it closed. And that way I can untie it when I'm ready to gift it to somebody. And put a little treat inside, maybe a gift card or a chocolate or something. Now that's pretty, that, that in itself, if you use the right paper, that's actually would be an, a cute little wrapping. Can you imagine like a basket full of them on a table in your staff room? That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? All right. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a tag to go with it, to go on it. So I've cut out this tag here using one of the tags from Tailor Made Dies. Um, and I've got some more white here. And I'm going to stamp out the dragonfly. So, on my block. And I'm going to stamp him in Mossy Meadow to match the string. check and I did bring the punch over and yes I did okay so he's quite beautiful and green okay put that to the side okay now remember that many of our products coordinate with punches or dies and I'm going to punch it 
okay my tag's going to go up there like this now this paper is actually um matches with blackberry bliss remember that the colored papers that it goes with is written on the back of the paper pack so i'm going to stamp onto my tag with for a true friend up the top for a true friend um, i'm going to use some dimensionals oops i've got the mini ones here which are really good okay so taking the back off those i usually just buy the full size ones and cut them down but i've bought the small ones to try them out and i have to say i, I do love them a lot all right there we go we've got our dragonfly and i'm just going to tie it to the front of the woody bag oops oops oh. just being a bit stubborn now all right so here it is it's just a cute little bow okay and that's quite a sweet little gift and it didn't take very long i think the videos yeah the videos about just under seven minutes so that's a really quick way to make something really special i'd love to see it if you make one yourself be sure to jump on over if you're an aussie crafter jump on over to stamping in the tropics a community group on facebook and post a picture there if you are not please jump on over to instagram and tag me stamping in the tropics so i can admire your little gift tube as well my celebration ends at the end of the month, so make sure that you jump onto the website and check out any specials that you haven't taken advantage of yet. There's still uh, lots of freebies available, I believe. Um, so that's laurencollis.stampinup.net if you're in Australia. And I hope you're having time to do some stamping. Thanks for watching my video today. Bye.